All right, folks. Episode four. Dark room. Well, actually, actually, the end of the previous episode was pretty shocking because you know, we we learn what is happening in the in, in, in reality and we unlock alternative reality. So, when we get out of alternative of alternative reality, we're, go we're going to see it. Start. And I heard that this episode four is about around three hours long. So it's the longest episode to date. I just hope the subtitles are not fucked up. Square penis. Don't don't non entertainment. Life is Ranger Master episode four Dark Room. Music in the background is pretty good. Oh look, here comes Chloe with us in alternative reality. It's weird. Yeah, the subject is a fucked again. With you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you... ...sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's happening with the subtitles? And to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do Always treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could. You know what? Take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw 
everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Yeah, when, so in the reality, she never met Rachel. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So the Chloe changed, and the, so the Chloe is different in an alternative reality. I'm just wondering who we get out of this alternative reality. Yeah, just what I'm, what, that just what I'm wondering. I mean, I hate this alternative reality ways where Sheena is not a punk rocker. Because Sheena must be a punk rocker. Because Sheena is a punk rocker. I mean, literally, Sheena must be a punk rocker if you want to, if you want to be a punk. Here, Sheena is nothing. Sheena is in a wheelchair. Well, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me. I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Of course. It's so sad watching you like this, Chloe. More control joystick. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. There's the old Chloe. Drink up, Buttercup. It's so sad watching her like this. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. 
It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. I guess in this alternative reality, we can't uh, rewind time. I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though, or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like Chloe <laughs> priceless, <laughs> yeah. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and Watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Oh, yeah. Let's get this she's more sexy. You better she's not more sexy with blue hair. Like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. <laughs> Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Well, in one of my, if, one, if one of our gigs someone hurt, someone actually hurt his back at stage dive and for, for a moment we thought that he, that he broke in his back, but you no, know, he was like, Okay, so just imagine doing this stage and finishing like Chloe in this, in this alternative reality. We have the objectives, I have a fun movie to watch. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, right as principal, I'm in, uh, I'm in a sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her virtual and class accessibility, etc. Luckily, like prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliments and uh, under Americans with disabilities. And, however, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre 1970s and our school has not yet undergone the modern innovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter in her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent de de deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Black Hill Canyon, but that day will come. Chloe is without doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she will find a more fitting reward in school. Schools. Scholastic environment at the H West Miskatonic Institute in Baltimore. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I don't know. And I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings. In her understanding GPA, there is no doubt that Miskatonic would, would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you will seriously consider that suggestion. I'm sure your daughter will prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I have also include inc includes brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. Or Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Idiot.
Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. You're a happy family, we're a happy family, me, mom and daddy. You know what the fuck, fuck, fuck. so cool that you're here again. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Ah, here's the DVD. Let's watch the movie, Chloe. 